may git isang taon nakalipas since the introduction of lockdowns in the Philippines in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Pero kamusta naman ang performance ng Pilipinas? Have we contained yung COVID-19 pandemic or are we actually regressing? Well, base sa latest numbers, the situation in the Philippines is actually moving in the wrong direction. Tumaas po yung daily infections to 8,000 per day and the active COVID-19 cases in the Philippines are more than 600,000. That means bumabalik na naman tayo dun sa height of pandemic numbers. So ano ang dahilan? After all, shouldn't we be more positive about this year? More than one year of lockdown, all those sacrifices, and now we have effective vaccines. So why is the situation getting worse rather than better in the Philippines? Pag-usapan natin yan. May factors na pwede mag-explain na bakit lumalala yung sitwasyon sa Pilipinas pagdating sa COVID-19. Una-una, the introduction of new variants of COVID-19 from Brazil, South Africa, Britain, among others. The second factor is complacency or lockdown fatigue. Pagod na pagod ang tao siguro when it comes to social distancing measures and observing basic hygiene and basic rules to avoid infection when it comes to COVID-19. After all, it has been more than a year. Pangatlo, the very slow rollout of vaccination programs sa Pilipinas. So we have good vaccines, but our access and rolling out of those vaccines has not been where it should be. In fact, it has been one of the slowest in the region and in the world. Number four, there has been a problem when it comes to mass testing. Mukhang kulang pa rin tayo sa mass testing to really know what's happening on the ground. Mahina pa rin tayo in terms of contact tracing to make sure that infected people do not pass it to others and also making sure na meron tayong unified national data when it comes to tracking the situation on the ground. So there are reasons na bakit bumabalik ang Pilipinas to an emergency situation pagdating sa COVID-19. So, nagkaroon na po ng desisyon ng ating INITAG na yung mga kakarating lang po na pinakahuling donasyon ng China na 400,000 Sinovac ay ibibigay ang karamihan nito doon sa mga pinaka-apektado ng new variants kasama na po ang NCR Plus at ang Cebu at Davao. Uh, nandyan na naman po ang uh, kumbaga pag-asa natin sa pagdating ng mga bakuna so inaasahan po natin na matapos mabakunahan ng lahat eh, mas liligaya muli ang mga Pilipino. Mukhang very dire yung, ano, yung mga projections natin. Mga nakatakot pero based on science namin yung projections natin at yun nga, nakita naman natin pag wala tayong ginagawa susunod talaga yung numero doon sa projections. Kaya importante may join tayo. Magtulong-tulungan tayo. If we're going to return to a semblance of normality, dapat i-address natin each of these problems. And that will require more effectiveness and competence on the part of the government but also more cooperation on the part of the Filipino people. Ako po si Richard Haydarian. Stand with us. Stand for truth.